show you some new phenomena that he already got for us. Please. south of England or in Tuscany, in Italy. When we speak about archaeoacoustic, we speak about a lot of different audio phenomena, which could, which could strike ancient people and encourage them to build a temple in that particular location instead of another. This is the thesis of our group of research. For example, this is the um, ancient site of raw right stones in uh, south of England. Uh, you can see the circle of megaliths. Um, this uh, uh, site is uh, in uh, Oxfordshire, in the south of England. This uh, is my equipment, the recorder with the microphone in the, in the soil for recording vibration from the earth. Inside the Rorai stones, a megalithic cycle in Oxfordshire, it's possible to record ultrasounds like a rhythmic pulsation at sunrise from megalithic stones. The name is the King Man Stone Circle because the Rorai stones are a lot of megaliths, together with a strange vibration on bigger stones. So, if you touch in the, when the sun rise, rises, uh, you can feel a vibration from the megaliths. The phenomenon was first discovered by an English researcher, Don Robbins, who uh, wrote a book, Silver of Silence, in 1979. But uh, in that uh, time, uh, um, his equipment was uh, very primitive for this type of research. Now we have uh, a lot of uh, good uh, recorders, digital recorders, um, 
uh, that can, which can, uh, um, which can record uh, also ultrasounds. And in uh, that uh, period, in 1979, Don Robbins, Don Robbins used only a compound uh, to compress the, uh, the, the mechanical vibration of the air in audible sounds. Also, um, uh, our group used uh, the same uh, equipment at the beginning. You can feel very well the vibration touching with the, the hand of the megalith at sunrise, but not in every season. Um, but uh, the question is this phenomenon caused by stones or by the location where megalith, megaliths are located? And do megaliths serve only to be transducers? Are only transducers, the, the megaliths, the same problem exists in rounded tunnels in Isoko with the, its megaliths. Are the megaliths the, the source of vibration? I think no. I think that the vibration is below the soil and the megaliths are the transducers. Our hypothesis is that the ancient people declared sacred a place because they felt some good sensation connected with the death location. For example, in Italy, on the Mount Amiata, there is a chapel of the 12th century, uh, Santa Maria della Meta, built over a Roman temple, built over an ancient Etruscan temple. This location is considered sacred by local people from the Neolithic age. We analyzed the acoustic situation just uh, last month. This is the chapel uh, in uh, the base of Mount Amiata in Italy. This is the equipment uh, for taking um, audible sounds. Audio sounds, not also sounds like in the town. We are uh, searching immediately uh, uh, because uh, um, the <coughs> that edge is uh, uh, to use the computer immediately and discover immediately if there is a vibration or not. For example, interesting vibration near the ancient Hermitage of Santa Maria of the Lameta, which sometimes appear during the night in the audible band around 10 kHz. Its origin is not clear yet, but it is likely that the presence of noise is due to some natural vent or an echo near it, because Monte Miata is an dormant volcano. This is the graphic. You can see that there, there, there are two peaks, a little peaks here, around uh, uh, 3 kilohertz, and another big peak around uh, uh, 10 kilohertz during the night. This is the, the same graphic during the day. This vibration is only during the night and not in all the night. For example, in other, in other uh, nights, you can find... Uh, what? You can find, uh, you can find uh, just a little peaks, but uh, near the original position. It's not by the equipment. We tried a lot, a lot before uh, having these conclusions. So this noise is a strong sound around 10 kHz and a weaker around 2950 Hz. It is also cleared audible, similar to wind noise. 
but recorded with in, as, in absence of an alcohol of wine. It's impossible to record, uh, um, to use uh, the recorder if there is wind. It's not possible. It's not possible. We can work only in absence of wind. How important was this phenomenon considered by ancient people? Was this phenomenon considered by the ancient people like voice of the god or the voice of some spirits? For this reason, probably the ancient Etruscan temple was built. So the Roman temple built after the chapel. Uh, the thesis is that uh, in uh, some places there is something of particular uh, which makes the place like sacred for the people. It's natural, not natural, I, ca I cannot say. For example, uh, this is uh, uh, the equipment on Mount Amiata in the air. In the air. In the Rabbit Towers, uh, we used uh, uh, hydrophone, uh, that is, um, which is a, a microphone uh, you can uh, put in, in, in the water. It's a microphone used by um, researcher of the sea to record uh, the the sing of the wheels. So we are speaking about archaeoacoustic. Another interesting phenomenon is the effect of resonance. It's possible to find it in ancient megalithic tables in the UK at Wayland Smithy and other in Ireland. Uh, we find it also in some original parts, for example in Rabbit Tunnels. The same effect in Rabbit Tunnels than in uh, Wayland Smithy in the uh, UK. The study in South England and Ireland was taken forward by Peel for the first, an interdisciplinary group of researchers from America. Uh, like uh, SBUG group, and because uh, uh, SBUG group, our group of research, is an interdisciplinary group. Uh, the peer uh, was from Princeton University in 1990. The acoustic, uh, 19 uh, uh, years. The acoustic measurement in the six neolithic sites by Pearl showed that all this structure showed a strong resonance at the frequency between 95 and 120 Hz, with a wavelength of about 3 meters. This is, for example, wavelength meter. We studied as a SB research group. In, uh, this, uh, in this place, the resonance. Uh, before speaking about the resonance in Ravne tunnels, we have to understand uh, what is resonance, what is the phenomenon of resonance. What is a resonance phenomenon? We can say that the, re the resonance is a phenomenon in which an object absorb energy, transform it, and make it again in another form, but more efficient. The first source can be, for example, electromagnetic waves, for example. The resonance, or, or, or uh, for example, in Wayland's meetings and site, is possible to use only the voice. The resonance can be found at any level of the cosmos where we find any form of energy, the movement of the spiral of our galaxy to the oscillation of the electron in a semiconductor. An example. Uh, we have to imagine uh, a ball. Let's imagine a simple ball that floats in a sea of energy surrounded by a heterogeneous wave. 
If the waves are longer, more long than the diameter of the ball, this ball begins to go up and down on the wave. But if the waves are much longer, uh, yes, the ball will roll over up and down like a boat on the ocean on the wave. But if uh, the wavelengths are smaller, you see it's smaller, this, uh, uh, this wave of energy uh, don't uh, move the, the, the ball, but on the contrary will excite or will be reflected from this surface. Okay, if you have a long wave, the ball goes up and down. If the, we have short wave, the, the, the energy goes over the, the ball or is reflected by the ball. But uh, what happens when the wave is the same of the diameter of, the, of this ball? But if the wave height hey, and the diameter of the ball are on the same amplitude, the wave crosses the surface of the ball. But when it reaches the opposite side of the ball, it's reflected back, instead of recurring even the side. So this energy remains inside the ball, because when the wave reaches the other side of the ball, it's reflected back again. This is the resonance. Wave return back. Oh, wait, yes. When the wave return back and collides with the first side, initially crosses, and from that, from what is reflected. At this point, the wave continues to go up and down inside, inside of the ball to infinity. Continues to move inside the ball. The wave energy remains trapped in this ball. So, if another wave homogeneous enters the ball, the energy of that well will be again completely absorbed. When the wave is a, ha, has the same diameter of the ball, it remains inside the ball and cannot exit. We can say that the waves and the ball and the ball will be in resonance and no portion of energy will be wasted or lost outside the ball. All the energy remains in the ball. This is the phenomenon of resonance. An example of resonance phenomenon. When the wavelength of the energy is equal to the size of an object, this absorbs the energy and then the object receives it in another form. Then, for example, the megalith. The energy and object may be coupled in terms of both time and synchronicity, just as can be coupled in time and space, when life or size. When the energy and object are coupled in terms of time, we can say that they have frequency matching on resonance frequency. Anything in this world has a resonant frequency. Me, you, Anything, everything, every object in this world. This is Wayland's meeting in England. Uh, there is a camera, a camera of a resonance, the room of resonance. Excuse me, not the camera. The room of resonance uh, on the south of this <coughs> big structure, oriented, uh, directed to the north. This is the same equipment uh, I used also in Grand Tunnels. In a Wayland's meeting site, we confirmed the presence of phenomenon of resonance with the particular characteristic found before by pair of Princeton University. The aspect of the chamber is cruciform. The room on the west has a cubic shape with the resonant at 102 hertz. The room on the east with the rectangular shape has a resonance frequency of 117 hertz. But the acoustic source must be in the center of the central camera 
to get resonance in the maximum stereo effect. So this shows uh, the person who, who prays or, or is singing have to be in the center of this cruciform shape. So he received the resonance from the two camera on the side, on the sides. We studied uh, with uh, this equipment the same as I told it, uh, of, uh, we, that uh, we used also in rabbit uh, uh, <coughs> We tried also with percussion instruments, but the best effect is with the human voice, especially with the male voice with the low continuous frequency. For instance, the typical um, yes. So, we can say that this effect was built by the builders of this structure. It is not the case. This resonance effect is a strongation of mind waves, making easier, making easier a passage to mystic exaltation or deep meditation for everybody, as found by American researcher of peer group. So, when a person prays or sings in that place, he or she had, has a resonance who hit his or her mind, putting him or her in a, a, in, in a condition of exaltation. Uh, we found a lot of people uh, around, living around this uh, uh, place who is using also nowadays this structure for this reason, for praying, for to have a contact with God. You see, for example, this instrument because an instrument, this is the central camera, the right side of the camera. What about resonance around the tunnels in Bosnia and Herzegovina? We tried the same experience around the tunnels, in the part of them remaining more regional, because uh, uh, a lot of parts or around the tunnels are no more original. Uh, uh, as built by builders of Roman tunnels. Uh, our experiment was carried out in January 2012. The experiment was performed to find out the level of voice frequency producing a sound response in the wall structure. We collaborated with the professional harmonic singers who tried to create resonance, resonance within the tunnel. This is the, the map, the tunnel. We, uh, um, we put the, the voice in this uh, point, at the beginning of the new section, the new section uh, discovered in 2010. Uh, this initiative was directed by our Finnish sound engineer of SBRG, Heike Savolainen, who masterfully recorded voices, sound and noises. The voice of the singer was attracted by using professional equipment with sample rates up to 95,000 response until 48,000 of hertz of acoustic band. Uh, this is the, the singer in front of the entrance of the new section of uh, um, Rabbi Tamas. The method of the recording was mainly based on the air recording of the voice of the singers by means of stereo microphone Sennheiser MKH803. It's a very expensive microphone, it's a professional microphone. At the same time, the response of the Tamas resonance was uh, assigned 
with a high sensitive microphone, hydrophones. Hydrophones are, are the, the microphone you can put inside the water, into the water, by aquarium, American aquarium. Place in the water on the bottom of the tub and connect it to another recorder, Maran sensor recorder. And the, the uh, sound engineer put together this sound. Okay. This is the uh, uh, A microphone, it's an iter. This is the hydrophone, uh, the hydrophone for the water, and this is the Marantz record, record uh, digital record. It is a, a moment of experiment. We found an interesting resonance in rubber the tunnels in the new section at uh, 74 Hz with the low persistence. The harmonic singing shook the tunnel for several seconds after the end of the sound. Its erection of appro approximately 20 seconds. After the, uh, the uh, singer stopped, the resonance continued until 20 seconds. This action had a strong effect on sensitivity for researchers, putting them in more receiving mood. And uh, yes, uh, a lot of uh, people who uh, come into the run uh, tunnel can have the same effect. For, uh, for noises by workers or by music, uh, you can try. because I want to, to hear the effect of resonance. You can see, this is the new section. Open at the end. No, um, it's better you to so exit so. Uh, from the program and take uh, the video directly. Which one? Uh, experience. This one? Yes, I think this. Yes, this. No, this. Video clip. Yes, video You can hear the singer singing a song in a, a normal voice in her mic. In her mic. So she is uh, singing in her mic. Open but uh, it's possible to see the video. Try the other video. I put the two video. Exit. No, the other, the other one. The other clip. Okay. The entrance of the new section. This is the new section. This dog is not uh, in, in the new year. It's possible to switch off less water inside. Lights! Please. We are. Are you working? Do you want to record? This is the base sound of the sound engineer. Thank you, Sublime. So, this tries to control the effect of the voice of the singer in the rabbit tunnels. Singing normally, uh, you don't have the effect of resonance. A beautiful voice by the singer, an Italian singer. You can see the, the equipment, one equipment with the microphone, the water, 
of the of the of the tiles because uh, the water is like a, a big parabola for the microphone for the hydrophobia cells and uh, you can feel you can have the resonance for a long for a long part of the tunnel until the water is But uh, for uh, starting with resonance, it's important uh, to use uh, the harmonic, harmonic song. This is uh, harmonic singing. Put a bass up, low, low frequency up. This is the resonance. You heard this low frequency from the rabbit tunnels. This is the resonance, this low frequency uh, that continues, that continues in, uh, uh, for 20 seconds after the singer stops. You can hear this only by microphones. You can you can feel it only by headphone. So uh, you can uh, feel only the effect of resonance on uh, your bodies. Okay, uh, light is switch on. Yes. Uh, we found also, we also find other strange acoustic pyramid tunnels. During the experiment on the top of the pyramid on the sun in April 2012, we recorded strange noises in the band of ultrasounds in pyramid tunnels. We almost finished analysis on the record, taking that moment. We recorded four, it's not uh, true not for 48 hours, but uh, for uh, 39 hours. And uh, my colleague, uh, uh, Lebodan, uh, will explain uh, why. During the night of 20 April, we recorded a sound around 4 or 10 p.m., similar to a clockwork moving. The other sound was not previous present uh, in previous times. The frequency was over 42 kilohertz with a 31 dB of amplitude. No factory working around, no radio waves inside the tunnel came into microphone. We are uh, 70 feet below surface. No people inside the tunnels because uh, it was recorded during the night. The door of the tunnel was closed in the night. This is uh, the aspect of the graphic, and you can see the peak, the large peak, <coughs> over 42 kilohertz. We recorded in the rabbit tunnel in uh, that night. And this is the. Uh, no, it's not possible. I didn't. Ah, okay. Good. 
This is the sound during night without people. This, uh, uh, this noise is uh, uh, ultrasound and we uh, um, translated uh, this sound five octaves down into audible band by a computer. Very strange, very strange noise. It's like a mechanism. The microphone <coughs> inside water five, 15 meters away, so it's not possible a noise by same equipment. The noise was not always present. No light switched on near the microphone, for example, uh, like, um, like this. Inexplicable sound. Now we can say inexplicable sound. Connected with the electromagnetic phenomenon in the tunnel, in the tunnels, we cannot say what, what is this. Uh, last year, in 2011, we used recording system is capable of recording audio waves up to uh, 50 kilohertz. Record the sound file with the uh, 90. 96 uh, kilohertz of sampling rate. We analyzed uh, with uh, this program, professional program. Uh, it's possible to find uh, a um, basical sound in the tunnel without explanation. If uh, we take uh, this three octave below by computer, we can uh, heard like a wind, but it's not a wind. This is the microphone in the air. Uh, we find also three peaks of constant ultrasound in the tunnel. These peaks are not natural sound, because natural sound is typically unstable, but uh, these uh, peaks are stable. Making them as audible sound, we can hear like a sound of wind. I told you. This is the three peaks. Three peaks. But there is a peak in the center uh, which goes up and down. Up and down, perfectly in uh, with a precise period. Probably is the origin of that sound, mechanic sound. Something is working uh, uh, near, near the tunnels. It's possible. This is the basic sound of the Ravne tunnels. When you put uh, all the sounds uh, three octaves down into the little band of my computer. Basic sound. Now, I want to speak about the beam of ultrasounds from the top of the pyramid of the sound. It's my argument, and uh, Slobodan and Mizdrak will speak, we speak uh, about uh, the electromagnetic phenomena from the top of the pyramid. I speak about mechanical vibration. We began to study the voice of the pyramid of the sun two years ago. The first researchers to discover this phenomenon was Loboda in April 2010. The first time we used a compounder, a compounder like the English researcher in the south of England in 70 years. Uh, a compounder to record the sound. So we recorded the, the ultrasound just compressed. Uh, this is a microphone. Oh, wait. This is, this is a sound engineer. Hey, sound line on the microphone. The very sensible microphone on the top. We are on the top of the of, uh, tumulus of rats, but the equipment is the same. The compounder is an instrument that processes dynamic sound operating primarily on the level and amplitude of sound. This instrument compresses ultrasound into audible sound. 
you can hear ultrasounds like a normal audible sound because the compounder transforms ultrasound in so, into audible sounds immediately. So, if there is an ultrasound <coughs> near me, I can turn immediately by compounder, by compounder uh, in uh, my ear. This is the equipment, the instrument, the parabola with the microphone, the headphone. This is the scale. scale. We use a rigid protocol recording with different operators in different moments for four months, from January to April, with the compound. After, by recorders, by digital recorders, uh, uh, which uh, can uh, record uh, also for the sound. With the compounder, compounder, we confirmed the beginning, at the beginning of 2011, the presence of a beam of ultrasound from the top of the pyramid. The diameter of the, the, diameter of the beam varies between 5-6 meters to 15-20 uh, um, meters from a season to another season. The beam can move in different moments but they're not very far away, it's sensitive to the weather. Uh, this is the equipment, the instrument, the parabola, the microphone, the headphone, with my assistant, during the winter. It was very hard uh, with the snow, it was very hard in February, last year. Oh, no. um, <coughs> Okay. With the compounder, it's impossible to investigate the dim by graphic method. It's not possible because uh, the uh, sound is distorted by the compounder. It's very uh, useful to, to hear, to listen immediately the ultrasounds, but not for, a, 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 for an analysis. During, two, during 2011, we attempted other methods of recording until we arrived at the present method of survey. We record ultrasound directly using high-end high -end recorders with highly sensitive waterproof microphone. The microphone. This is, the, for example, uh, one of uh, our recorders, and this is the famous microphone by Sennheiser, very sensible from uh, uh, 20 to 50 uh, kilohertz, 20 hertz to 50 kilohertz of response. With the hydrophone, we uh, uh, inserted the microphones inside the snow, so we uh, uh, have not uh, the possibility of noises by the air, for example, airplanes or dogs barking. We use uh, two recorders to avoid problems by instruments. It's possible to analyze the sound, or the sound, or the sound, visually by computer. Just immediately. <coughs> it's possible to translate ultrasounds into an audible band without distortion or artificial introduction of other effects by instruments like with the computer. Uh, you can see uh, the various position on the top of the pyramid that we studied. This is the two record, recorders, one with the microphone in the snow, the other in the air. We find five peaks perfectly spaced over 9,333 hertz each other. So, there are more frequencies around the principle of 20 kHz. The beam is constant in every moment. The voice of the pyramid is really present. This beam has mechanical vibration, but also radio waves admission. Uh, contemporary, the beam is mechanical vibration and electromagnetic waves. Radio waves. voice, like original, without, without treatment. This is the voice of the pyramid. If uh, 
uh, you have a headphone hi-fi, it's possible to, f to hear something like a modulation. But uh, by our sound engineer, with a, a particular algorithm, uh, he exerted uh, this modulation, obtaining this effect. This is the voice of the pyramid of the sun. Exactly. Uh, you, can, uh, you can listen perfectly the modulation of the beam. But uh, this uh, beam are not constant. Sometimes the modulation can change. Aspect, this is aspect of five peaks. One, two, three, four, five. This is the, the response of the hydrophone uh, that go down at the end of the band. But uh, this peak is very similar to the other. There are the same space between one peak and another peak. There are some critics criticism by skeptic people. The sound is totally natural for the area. But uh, we search a lot on the hills around the Pyramid of the Sound. Nothing similar can be found near the hills or in other sites. This is the answer. For example, this is the aspect you can find on a hill near the pyramid of the sun. It's totally different. And the aspect is natural. You can see the peaks are uh, uh, not with the same distance between one and another. The other criticism by skeptic people, by skeptic people is the shape of the pyramid produces the admission of ultrasounds. The shape, the characteristic shape like a pyramid produces this sound. But uh, uh, there is nothing similar in other places. For example, we examined this mountain in Italy with the shape Dark, with the shape like a pyramid. And another one in Italy on the Dolomiti mountains, like the shape similar to the, to the uh, pyramid of the sun. You can see also a plateau here. Yeah. We find nothing, nothing else similar than the pyramid of the sun. This is uh, the uh, graphic of, of this, uh, uh, this last mountain. Okay, I have finished.